Psalm 34 is a psalm of praise and wisdom. Let's now pray this psalm with great faith and then we will continue praying asking God to open the paths in all areas of our lives. Let's go. I will praise the Lord at all times, His praise will continually be in my mouth. My soul will make its boast in the Lord, the meek will hear and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me, and together we exalt His name. I sought the Lord, and He answered me, delivered me from all my fears. They looked to Him, and were enlightened, and their faces were not confused. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good, blessed is the man who trusts in him. Fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Come, children, listen to me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is a man who desires life, who wants long days to see good? Guard your tongue from evil, and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil, and do good, seek peace, and follow it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to uproot the memory of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears them, and delivers them out of all their troubles. Near is the Lord of the brokenhearted, and saves the brokenhearted. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones for him, not one of them breaks. Malice will slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. The Lord rescues the souls of his servants, none of those who trust in him will be punished. Lord, at this moment we enter before your presence, because we need you very much, Father. We now confess all our sins and shortcomings, and we ask you to forgive us, may your mercy transform our life giving us strength again to follow our path and thus be worthy of all your promises. That at this moment, the Lord hears my cry, and of all those who are looking for you. That circumstances do not prevent our purposes from being fulfilled, for we know that the Lord is powerful to fulfill all the promises that were made to us. Regardless of our past, today we make an alliance with you, so that our future may be rewritten by your hands. Father, in the face of so many moments in my life I feel so weak, but I know that the Lord empowers the weak, therefore, strengthen me, Lord, according to your will. Father, may the Lord search every suffering, bitter, sick, tired heart, and may the Lord be at this moment the consoling force that transforms all darkness into light, all suffering into relief, all sadness into joy, every struggle into victory, all hate into love, all weakness into strength, all evil into light. That through the shed blood of your Son Jesus, we can be healed of all the wounds and all the suffering of our heart and our soul, and that your words now come to strengthen us and feed us with all the knowledge we need from you. May we be worthy to receive all your blessings Lord, according to your will, May his promises be fulfilled now in our lives, and may we receive them all for all the honor and all the glory of your holy name, Father. Lord, I ask that in the name of your Son Jesus, open all our ways my Father. That at this moment, all the doors of employment, work, business, successful partnerships, collaborators and sponsors are open that he who has been looking for a job for so long to support his family and bring his daily bread to his home, may receive today the job answer he is looking for so much. That that resume that this person sent, or that he took to that company, may he be chosen and his work portfolio be signed, for the honor and glory of the Lord Jesus. That business, that shop that is empty you, that beauty salon, snack bar, barber shop, grocery store, 
clothing and shoe store, that pharmacy, butcher shop, gift shop, stationery shop, handicraft shop, manicure, hairdresser, that seller, may sir, receive countless customers my father. That at this moment, your doors of abundance, prosperity, plenty, providence will be opened. That it will now be filled with customers, customers, people wanting to buy its products, use all its services, and that there are so many that its owners are unable to handle it, and that they even have to hire more people to be able to provide it. Account of so much work. And so they can open more job opportunities to so many who need it, may more shops open, may more businesses start, may more companies resume their activities, more factories increase their production, more industries prosper, more businesses start, more companies strengthen. That agriculture increases, that several food producers manage to multiply their production several times, that new lands are sown and the harvests increase, that the creators manage to double their goals several times, and thus produce more and more jobs. May the hand of the Lord come to bless all employees and employers, making the economy of this country grow more and more. That there are more and more companies, more factories, shops, stores and industries to give jobs to every worker who needs to support his family, and thus give a dignified, prosperous and blessed life. Open also Lord, all the paths of prosperity and plenty. May the life of every person who hears this message be filled with God's unlimited abundance. May your homes be supplied with all your needs abundantly. That in your kitchen, your fridge, your cupboard and your pantry, you always have the good and the best to feed your whole family. And that he has so much master, that he can even help other people. That all household bills are paid on their due date, or even earlier for the correct running of all water, electricity, telephone, gas, internet, cable TV and everything else your family uses. May your house always be supplied with everything you need to feed, shelter, clothe, accommodate, rest, amuse, relax and satisfy all who live in it. May all its inhabitants feel blessed with all the good and the best. Father, I pray with great faith that you open the paths of life for all the people who accompany me at this time. May the Lord pour out his limitless blessings on all levels in these people's lives. At the professional, work level, on a personal level, on a sentimental level. May the Lord be blessing your heart, your dating, engagement, marriage, your family. On a spiritual level, giving these people the understanding of your word, increasing their faith and giving them more intimacy with you. Lord, may all your blessings of light fall on these people who pray here with me. For in Matthew 11:28 it says, Come to me all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. For we are tired and burdened Lord, of our sins and our struggles. My Father, the burden is too great, so we cry out in Jesus' name so that we may find blessed rest in you Lord. For as it is in the words of Psalm 34, I sought the Lord, and He answered me. Deliver me from all my fears. Lord, to you all honor, all glory, and all praise, forever my Father. Amen.